Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have a closer look to the north of Scotland, to Old Pultenay, which is a distillery located in Wick. This is the former north, most northern distillery on the mainland of Scotland. In the meantime, there, are, there is a single distillery further north, but uh, this one is famous, old, and well lies quite to the harbor of Wick, which is or was very famous for its herring industry. Mm -hmm. So they came in with a, uh, with a silver of the sea and <laughs> exchanged it with the gold of the land. Ah, okay, <laughs> the gold, <laughs> the whiskey. <laughs> I think we already had an old Poulton yes. lately. I think last month or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was without an age statement. Mm -hmm. It was, was quite good. Um, yep. Old Pulton is one of these distilleries that is not that well known, mm -hmm. but it also has a great heritage and also a, kind of a good production. So the, the whiskies are not overpriced and they are, I would say, good. And When I was uh, not there, uh, I didn't have a look into the still house because then there was no distillery uh, shop or visitor center. I don't know if it's there today. And it was a working distillery, very dark and black from the fungi on the walls or uh, the, the dust of the coal firings. So it wasn't very welcoming. And uh, they have a, a wash still which was cut on top so that it's not that tall to fit inside the distillery building. So this is a different style of fabrication of the whiskey, but it's the wash still, so I don't think that it's that important, that it's mm -hmm. shorter than the others. Uh, and you can see a little bit the reflux bowl uh, here on the neck of the, uh, of the bottle. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. uh, you're referring to the, the smuggler's kettle. And yeah, that's, there's a bit of a story behind that. And they do have a quite a, a very round and uh, big reflux constricting bowl. reflux bowl the the bottom is really really constricting yeah so uh, just there you go yeah. yeah so it's uh there must be a lot of reflux and a lot of contact between the copper yeah perhaps that's the uh, reason why they do not need that high still so there's mm -hmm. more reflux and here on the label they say uh, born in the part of Wick, yeah, okay, matured over fine American oak, over fine American oak, in fine American oak, robust yet smooth with a delicate hint of sea air. Mm -hmm. Traditionally crafted for rich character, 40% ABV. 40% ABV, okay. So it's for a broader audience. Mm -hmm. So it was quite complicated to, to pour out of this bottle. Now it's better. The first is. Yeah, when the bottle is full, then you have a bit of a problem with the reflux bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no reflux, it's an outflux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Last time I said uh, I take the first one now in English. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the second time. So we had the first sip in German. And it's a friendly, welcoming, not too strong, single malt with a light citrus note, a little dryness on the note, and a maritime note. I say it's a maritime note, mm -hmm. um, but it's not that, that rotten uh, seaweed or something. No, it's a little more fresh but aromatic sea note. Mm -hmm. uh, Sea spray, sea spray. Yeah, I, I love that one. You do have uh, the, I would say, it's zones again. When you're further away, you do have that fruitiness, very fresh, very uh, citrusy. So that's kind of the goes in the direction of the whole area is a bit citrusy. You do have a bit of a, a bourbon flavor, a little bit of a bourbon flavor, some sweetness. Mm, might call it honey, might call it uh, caramel, a little bit of vanilla. And when you put in your nose a bit deeper, and then you get this this sea spray, what you you describe. I did uh, experience it as a 
uh, iodine note. So really, I would uh, firstly I would have characterized it as uh, medicinal, but um, it just goes more. It, it doesn't have that uh, that medicine flavor. It goes no. more into the direction of seaweed or tang and that kind of stuff. So it's a, a very fresh, not smoky mm -hmm. uh, sea maritime note. I love it. Uh, but the longer I smell on it, um, there's more and more caramel and, and sweetness mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So there is a hint of the upcoming cask so there's a little bit of of spiciness coming yeah cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. in the start a little bit watery then oily a lot of oiliness on my tongue and as soon as i swallow yeah, uh, the spiciness following, going well, even to light peppery notes, and uh, yeah, the the sea is there, but this time it shows a little bit of yeah, even licorice. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Mm -hmm. So it's more, much more intense as with the first sip. Mm -hmm. mm. What is really beautiful, it's a very gentle whiskey. Mm -hmm. Very oily, very subtle, very creamy, even even silky smooth with a nice touch of citrus. And then you do get the feeling of a bit of a, a little bit of a spicy note, a very delicate, light, spicy note. I would say, what is it? Gewürz, uh, Nelken? Cloves. Cloves, I think, yeah, cloves. And um, it's very, very gentle and and dry. You have a dry mouth feel. It's quite strange, taste. strange that you start off with a bit of a, a juiciness from the the lemon and a bit of a cream note, and then you end up with a very dry mouth feeling. But I would, I would even say that is one of the the second whiskies I would uh, recommend to give to a beginner. Mm -hmm. So the first one would be something very very gentle fruity maybe a bit of touch of sherry in there and this would be the one that you say okay let's try something else uh, it's a it's a gentle one but you have that marine flavor that mm -hmm. is a bit a bit different to yeah. to what you get from a, a normal gentle in the whiskey. aftertaste it's long mm -hmm. long aftertaste and this time is not that dry i have a little bit more of a, uh, a sweet honey feeling in the aftertaste so it's very complex really for only 12 years of age and 40 percent abv it shows quite a depth mm -hmm. yeah okay so and the, the cool thing is about that is our uh, old pultine is not that well known it's not one of these hyped whiskies so the prices for old pultine are reasonable mm -hmm. unfortunately that also means that it's not that widely available so I, you hardly see it in any mainstream liquor stores that don't uh, specialize in in whiskey. You do see it in Scotland on the airports quite a lot. Yeah, they, they did push into the airports at, in in Scotland at least. So uh, have a look around. If you have a bit of a specialized uh, whiskey shop in your area, they definitely will have them. And it's a a nicely priced marine beginners whiskey. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.